Yeah. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is more HX35 turbo testing, as you could say. I don't do this for very many people, I kind of do it for myself, but this is for a good buddy of mine, Jacob Hyde, uh, he drives, uh, I'll throw a truck picture up of his truck right here, sweet truck, but it is a stock fuel, the first gen, I don't even think the tamper proof caps are off of the pump, and this is the charger I threw together for him, he basically just ordered the parts, sent the parts to my house, and I threw it together. So, with that being said, this is a 60 by a 60, 67 waste gated 12 cm and it is gonna be a workhorse. Uh, it's a 60 by 86 HX40 wheel with a 76, 67 uh, turbine wheel. And like I said, the exhaust housing is a 12 cm and it's waste gated. Uh, it's got the different waste gate setup. This is one I had laying around, but he sent me this fresh 12 cm housing. It looks beautiful. And this is what the bolt holes looked like, so I just put that one on. Uh, we, he did send a new flange. We got new nice hardware on there. This should bolt up to his uh, factory downpipe. I took the dowel calipers to it. Same measurement as a 21cm H1C uh, flange. So really this is bolt right up and go charger. Um, with it being an intercooled truck, shouldn't have any problem with the air filter connection. I'm going to send him with a rubber hose so he can hook up the wastegate once he gets the turbo clock just right how he likes it. But yeah, this this is going to be on a truck that nothing's done to it, and it's going to be stock injectors with probably a piston lift pump, a 4200 spring, and uh, some valve springs, and just a, a turned up pump basically. So for you first gen guys that are looking for a turbo upgrade, everybody always says just a stock HX35, and in my opinion that is not the answer, although it is a great upgrade. A stock HX35 just doesn't do what I want to do, especially once you turn up the pump, you're already getting to its limits almost. They can make some decent power, but you're going to overspeed them. There's no point in that. So the choke point on these turbos is the turbine side. Everybody always does just a wicked wheel or a 60 millimeter upgrade on these or the H1C. That is not the restriction. You guys can do a bigger turbine wheel and have it milled out and get more pickup and low end torque from this upgrade than you can just putting a new compressor wheel on. With that being said, don't go with any other wheel besides the 7667 turbine wheel. There's no point. Uh, they don't. They just don't flow as good. This is the wheel to have no matter if, if it's a stock 56 or whatever it is millimeter cast compressor wheel or if it's a 67 millimeter billet wheel, this is the turbine wheel to have. So get you a 76, 67, put in whether you're looking for a stock power or if you're looking to make some pretty good power. With that being said, if I'm gonna have any of my turbos built and done how I want them, I'm gonna have Savage Fabrication do it. Uh, Bradley Carter is a gentleman who does them out there. And he does really good work. And why I say that is because he makes a HX Super 9. And basically he adapts the HE351 9 centimeter housing, or 9CM housing, to adapt the HX35. And that's a big key because the HE351 9CM has an angled internal gate, which flows like an 18CM old housing. So it flows way more, but it has faster spool up. So really that's the most ideal bolt-on ready to go situation you could be in and that's a very good investment brad is the man he will treat you right and that's the way i would go but i just wanted to show you what was going to be going on jacob's truck and what all modifications were done to the truck so you guys could do something similar i know a guy that is running a 62 67 16 hx 35 on stock fuel with a lift pump and governor spring and all of the small upgrades and it spools very well, and this should spool even faster. This is more of a towing turbo. If it had the HE351 9CM, it would be more of a towing turbo, but this, if he hooks this thing to a gooseneck, this thing should do very well. EGT should definitely be in check. It flows all you would need, and it, it should just straight up rip. It should have a lot of low end torque for his truck. His transmission might not like it at all, but he can get that done here shortly which with all the modifications he's going to be doing, he's going to want to do something with the trans. But yeah, hopefully he either will come up here. I'm probably going to send this back to him, but eventually he's going to come up here and we're going to tinker with it. And I'll do a full video over his truck. But 
yeah, more HX35 turbo testing. I will get back to you guys and hopefully he will send me some videos on how this thing does, what it looks like installed and all that so we can have a part two of this exact turbo and get some good information back to you guys. So for, for this one, that'll be it. Until next time, we'll see you guys and have a good weekend.